Okay, Shalom. <clears throat> we like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bless him, Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh. Brakat the Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh. Brakat the Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Rakakadash. Okay, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. All right, peace and blessings. Salutation and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel. Just continuing to push this word, this truth. All right. Who spare not. <laughs> Just lifting up their voices like that trumpet, like we're commanded to do. <laughs> it looks like our two thirds seem to be a little offended in that still. You know, we're standing up to be man, which is wicked uh, individual here, this character here. Uh, he made the comment of me having some weight and some size on me. There's a reason why um, I'm not being bothered out there. It has nothing to do with that. And like I tried to explain to him, well, what what the world's seeing, and they're seeing the Israelite man finally standing up again and being true men, you know? What the world is witnessing, they're witnessing the Israelites coming back into our heritage and becoming gods again. That's where all this is going. They're coming God. And like I said, there's fruit comments that I made to this demon that uh, when I looked into his eyes after I made the comment, he looked a little confused. He looked confused when it comes to the RFID chip. He looked confused when it came to speaking on prophecies and where all this in the world is going as far as being America being judged and being destroyed. He looked totally confused um, um, and so on, you know, but pretty much, and especially with the virgin birth, which he tried to deny. All right. But um, the main thing that, his eyes literally looked confused was when I was speaking on the fear of the Lord, which he literally had no understanding. But first of all, the man's coming in no name, you know, you know, he represent himself. Like he said, he's captain, you know, but like I said, when I was explaining to him, the fear of the Lord and how we are moved, you know, and I was explaining cause, um, um, cause that's before I even, um, the day even began before I even set up and headed out to camp. The whole night was one of them fucked up ass nights, you know, which I, seldom happens with me the night before uh, going out into the highways and the byways. That, that, that night is usually um, the hardest of the week. I don't know. It's just how the spirit's dealing with me. You know, I can't sleep, you know, so I keep the scriptures in my mind. I keep... I watch videos of the brethren a lot more, especially that, that, that night before, the day before, and the night before, you know, and especially the, that morning of, you know, I'm, I'm constantly, I'm in that spirit, all right, but uh, what I was going through um, that whole night, um, what was on my mind was the book of Psalms, the, 90, um, the, uh, the 51st chapter, you know, and not specifically the chapter, but what was on my mind was um because this is normal routine the um the the days and weeks leading up to the passover and even days the days after the passover um i'm i'm on um i'm on um um that's how can you say um uh i'm in um red alert mode which i'm always constantly in that mode in the first any anyway but a lot of things happen spiritually around that pa the time of the Passover. A lot of things, a lot of spiritual things are, uh, take place, which we've witnessed through these years. And, uh, and like I said, I was, I was in the mode of the fear of the Lord, scared, you know, of, uh, afraid. Uh, uh, in the, uh, the, you know, the, the scriptures mention fear um, and trembling, you know, you know, word, have I done enough? Worried, which I know I haven't. Worried if I've um, offended and and hurt and you know and just done wickedly, you know. And and, and Lord and I'm and praying that I and w w the things that I have done that I'm um, you know He forgive me and that He lead me into the way of um, um, repentance and and, um, and 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 even correcting the wrong that we've done. You know what I mean? You know, because that's what it's all about. You make a wrong, you do a wrong. It's always good. It's always good to go and correct your wrong. You know, it's just the ways of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, correcting your wrong. You know, 
So, um, uh, like I said, the fear that he won't take his spirit away from me, that he won't destroy me, you know, by some physical ailment or having a, um, a damn bus run over my simple ass, you know, or the many ways that he can come up with destroying us, you know, but mainly it's just um, not getting punished, you know, period, which we're the punished daily, but, you know, we, our, we hope to keep those punishments to a minimal, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, um, again, you know, Proverbs 1, you know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, which I read to the fool, the fear of the Lord. And we, the men of the Lord, we have great millstone. We, our everyday movement is of the fear of the Lord, you know, our everyday movements is of the fear of the Lord. You know, and I don't really, I haven't really heard another brothers um, say it in that manner, but I'm, I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the brethren will agree with me. <laughs> you know, only a fool wouldn't agree with me. You know, Proverbs, I mean, there's, like I said, there's many scriptures on it. Okay, speaking on the fear of the Lord, there's many scriptures on it. Okay, so I'm not going to go into it. All right, so I'm just going to read the scripture that I had here in mind. Um, this is Psalms 51 and 11. Man, these demons are something else, man. These people of the world are something else. They just don't want to, they just, you know, they just feel that they, they can quote scriptures and quote the, the whole Bible, man. And, and for some damn reason, they just, think they have understanding what they have literally no understanding. Apostle Tahar was correct that these these um foolish Christians and man, they don't know a damn thing about uh biblical prophecies. They know they don't know a damn thing. And like I said, this fool here is saying that he don't need to repent to nobody. You know? And a lot of other blasphemous shit that came out of his mouth, man. You know? Anyway, Psalms 51 and 11 says, Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that's a fear. That's a true, genuine, sincere fear that I have and the brethren have in their hearts, meaning their minds. That's a sincere, that's a, that's a fear. And you know, we talk about these phobias that people have, you know, these phobias scared of spiders arachnia and, and um um you know what let me do this if i can i'm not sure how you spell it though but um let's go here look up a few of these things man and uh and i guarantee you there's a um A phobia on on it that's kind of deep video i put up i didn't go too much into it about ronda rousey which you know um i mean I'm, like i said it's nothing surprising but you know it's just it's beautiful how it's coming to light but anyway let me stay on point here phobias Okay, types of phobias we have here. A to Z, list of phobias from the strange to. Okay, that's good. That's the spirit giving me a little something, something here. List A to Z, strange common list of phobias. The four specific phobia categories. Um, natural environment. Animals. Situations. And look at this glasses um mutilations and medical treatments um catastrophes okay let me make this a little bit for you see there are a bunch of them so okay go back in it okay let's go down here 
fears of the natural environment, fears of related animals, fears related to medical treatments or issues, fears related to specific situations. <laughs> So there's a list of phobias here, and so, um, and I'm sure, um, now I can take a few minutes just to stroll through these, fear of darkness, and, hey, check this out, fear of darkness, you're right, you know, that that definitely falls into the category of, you know, his, you know, uh, his presence leaving from someone that had the truth. You're back into the darkness. <laughs> you, hey, beautiful spirit, how to look at it, right? Um, fear of needles, fear of riding a car, fear of men, fear of ink, uh, fear of... Uh, fear. See, there's a whole list of them. Fear of disorder or un, untidiness. <sighs> That's the presence of the Lord leaving you as well. Fear of imperfection. This truth is perfect. This truth is perfect. Fear of failure. Whew. Now you see where cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. That's how heavy the, the spirit of the Lord is. That's how heavy his wisdom is. That it falls under multiple categories. If you look at it, the fear of failure. <laughs> The fear of being alone. This is all part of the, the spirit of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> fear of ugliness. Fear of being ridiculed. You know what happens, you fall out, and, and you know the, 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 the prophets throwing up the videos, <laughs> rebuking the hell out of the wicked, you know? Because that's, you know, ultimately, you fall out, you're just part of the wicked. Ultimately, you know. So it goes on and on and on and on. Which showing you the power of you, the spirit of this word, man. Which showing you the power and the, of this, the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. Phobias. Phobias, man. Phobias. This is crazy. All right, so let me go back and put this clown this demon back on here, which is he's never had the truth, you know. Just, just this video itself, just, just individual, just get from yesterday. Um, um, I can go back and review the video, and and it's just gonna be a, a, I mean, a, a bunch of videos that can be made from it. All right. So it says here, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Uphold me with thy free spirit. Which, what's on our minds, man? We learned this truth. You know, we learn. We're learning uh, the uh, the ancient ways of our forefathers, which the ancient ways of our forefathers of, of, of was of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, the ancient ways. That's where our minds are set back on. The ancient ways where this world is going right back to the ancient ways. All right. It says, then will I teach transgressors thy ways. And that's why we're out on the highways and the byways. And this demon made comments about why we shouldn't. See, that's what these fools do. Man. They all, they, everyone, the wicked always come up with excuses on why we shouldn't be doing it and why they're not doing it. You know? And I kept going to the Bible, which he was highly offended by me going back to the Bible. Because that's how I answer. I answer by the scriptures. <laughs> you know, we're untouchable. We're untouchable when we use when we use the scriptures. Okay. So then will I teach transgressors thy ways? You know, whether they like it or not. You know? Something that he didn't understand, whether they hear or whether they forbear. You know, that's something the wicked do not understand. It says, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Now, we're going to the sinners. We're going to those that that's in need of this healing, you know. But again, he's out there telling me why I shouldn't. <laughs> May he have no scriptures to back any any of his foolish talk up. 
you know. People are fools, man. Fools, man. Niggas is fools, man. So I'm going to close with this last scripture here, the book of Matthew, the 13th, the 13th chapter. It says this. It says here, um, Matthew 13 and 16, but bless are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. You know, when the apostles started uploading videos to the Internet, we heard and we followed. The sheep hear my voice and they follow, you know. And it made and ever since then, it's been a, a, a life altering event. Life altering events took place. <laughs> but, you know, so it says, bless are your eyes for they see because we see what's coming. We see the ultimate end game to it all, you know, but the wicked don't see it. OK, for it says, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. We're seeing those last days. We're experiencing the last days. We're, disper we're experiencing and we're witnessing the destruction, the downfall, and, the, and then ultimately the destruction of our enemy, the Edomites, the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man, our enemy, you know, the last days. And we're in Lord willing, we're going to. Be, we're going to live through it and get delivered through it because that's what we want to see. We want to see how it's going to go down. We want to live through it. You know, the chariots coming through the skies when, when Yahweh Shai makes his first appearance. Man, can you imagine what's going on? What was what's going to be going on in the world at that time? World War Three, chaos, death, everything is going to just wickedness is going to be at its peak, man. Wickedness, evil. It's going to be at its peak where Satan is going to be running rampant around this around, around this bad boy, man. <laughs> you know, so the ancient men of old been waiting for they've been they've been they've been one. Well, we're those ancient men. We are those ancient men. Those ancient prophets. You know, so they've been desired to see these these days. So we're laboring and laboring and laboring till that day comes. OK. So the desire to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them, like the boasting of the wicked, the wicked boasting and the proud, wicked men and women boasting, you know, and talking mad shit, <laughs> mainly scoffing after this word, you know. So it says, hear ye therefore the parable of the sower when Anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one. All right. Snakes, you know, wolves, evil men. Next time, little woman, shallow one.